and in the past few years, my research focus was uh, analyzing the image data from the UK Biobank dataset, such as developing automated analysis algorithm for the images of the heart to understand how the heart is beating, to understand the structure of the myocardium wall, which is the muscle of the heart. We are at a unique position to have such a valuable resource for understanding human diseases and health. And the other opportunity is the development of artificial intelligence techniques or deep learning techniques, which can help us automate a variety of tasks, including image analysis, natural language processing, etc. So my research is at the intersection between these two opportunities. So I develop automated image analysis algorithm using deep learning, which analyze the large scale data set from UK Biobank, such as to perform segmentation for cut images. And sometimes also I look at brain images to look at the brain structure and function. The UK Biobank data set was so unique it collects data, genetic data, lifestyle information for half a million people. And for hundreds of thousands of these uh, cohort, we have imaging scans, which can give us very detailed des description of different organs in our body. And I think that this could create a huge opportunities for us to uh, understanding the risk factors for diseases and also to look at the genetics. We are just at the first phase of this study. We are developing all kinds of image analysis algorithm so we can describe the shape, the structure, the function of all these organs. And I think in the next phase, maybe in the next five or ten years, when we have analyzed all the shapes, we can start to look at uh, asking more exciting questions such as is there any common patterns in this shape or structure for organs? Is there any patterns that are particularly associated with the early onset of some diseases? I think that this is still like a long journey, at least for me, but I, I can see that there will be quite exciting and interesting outcome in the next decade.